Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and be honest, did you really get everything that went down in that glorious finale of Loki? No! Yes, it was an amazing finale, it was beautiful, we were crying, but there was a lot of questions remaining that even the producers don't really have answers for, and it's not their fault, it's because the MCU historically has been allergic to anything resembling finality, because this franchise can never end. And that is what makes Loki sticking this landing as well as it did so miraculous! In this video, we're gonna talk about the fates of these other characters, notably Victor Timely. I'm talking about Victor Timely on that Loom observation deck after the shutters closed. The Victor Timely we never saw in the rest of this episode, aside from his sacred timeline self who's still making candles. So what happened to this nerd? Is he dead? Is he spaghetti? Did his mind go back into that young candle maker? Or is he working in the TVA mailroom? I actually have an answer of what happened to Victor Timely. And yes, there is a single shot in this finale that tells us where he is. Okay, this whole season hinges around the crisis in which the temporal loom fails and the radiation destroys the TVA. In the finale, Loki, upon learning to control his time slipping, loops back countless times upon this failure, but Victor Timely always spaghettifies. Even if Victor didn't head out onto that core, that loom would fail and spaghettify everyone on the observation deck anyway. So when Loki becomes the god of stories and turns that dead timeline into the Yggdrasil time tree, what happens to Victor and everyone else on that deck? We see what happens to everyone else in the final minutes of the episode, but Victor's adult form is nowhere to be seen. The last time we see him is when those shutter doors are closed and everyone is just kind of looking out in that direction, hopefully. All the episode really gives us is this little moment with Victor back as a boy in 1868 Chicago, making candles, turning to see his open window, but no book flies in. But this kid is not the Victor Timely we've been following. This kid is what Victor Timely would have become had he not met Ravona Renslayer. In episode three, we saw this boy making candles when he received the handbook from Renslayer, and that was 1868 sacred timeline, according to the lower third. And then later, after he had gotten that book, 1893 Chicago, that was a branch timeline. So that boy back making candles, never becoming a grifter with advanced tech, would have been how the sacred timeline carried itself out. That kid was never supposed to get involved in TVA shenanigans. Meanwhile, grifter, adult Victor Timely, was always part of a branch timeline. It's kind of like the Loki we've been following throughout the series, Loki L130. He is a variant, the Loki who branched off from the sacred timeline after the Tesseract slid to his feet in the of Avengers Endgame. The normal Loki still progressed forward in history on the Sacred Timeline through the events of the Infinity Saga, Thor the Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, and then died when Thanos broke his neck in Infinity War. So young Candlemaker Victor Timely similarly had a normal Sacred Timeline life where no book came in through his window and he kept making candles. Adult Grifter Victor Timely was a variant on his own path in the TVA. And after God of Stories Loki closes those blast doors, we do see Victor watching alongside the others in the darkness, and then we never see him again. Now, we had thought at one point in this series that Victor Timely might become the He Who Remains in the Citadel. That maybe He Who Remains origin story was in 1868 Chicago. But no, that is not the case. Victor was one of He Who Remains variants, and He Who Remains says in the finale that his whole plan this season was to use Miss Minutes and Renslayer to activate his variant. At first it seemed to replace him, but no, it was really to put Victor on a path to meet Obi and Loki, and then to up Loki's time slipping skills so that Loki could loop back to him in the Citadel and they could resume their conversations without having to deal with Sylvie. So he remains, as we've known him, still has his origins in the 31st century as a scientist. Now, the fact that this 1868 boy grows up to look exactly like Jonathan Majors is a bit confusing, yes, but I will direct you to my theory that he remains and other Kangs extracted baby Nathaniel Richardses from across the time stream and stored them throughout history as sleeper cells waiting to be activated for various purposes. Either way, it is clear that Victor Timely's fate is not to become he remains in the Citadel. Something else happened to him. There's never a wrong time to add a way to ease anxiety in your life, which means right now is the perfect time to pick up a Bond Charge infrared sauna blanket. Bond Charge is a holistic wellness brand with a huge range of evidence-based products to optimize your life a bazillion ways. Whether you want to sleep better, have more energy, or just de-stress, which is where the infrared sauna blanket comes in. Bond Charge's sauna blanket raises your heart rate so you burn calories while you relax to help your body release endorphins and leave you feeling relaxed and you fork. It's super easy to set up, it heats quickly, and so now you can get the same relaxing benefits you would get from a sauna while reading a book for 40 minutes on your couch. Bond Charge's infrared sauna blanket has free shipping worldwide and a 30-day free trial so you can test it out risk-free. Go to bondcharge.com and save 25% until the end of December 2023. That's a saving of $175 on your sauna blanket. Limited time only. While stocks last, your discount code will be automatically applied on your order. So what did happen to Victor Timely then? Victor probably 
probably did not die by spaghettifying. God of Stories Loki averted that fate for all of them. Victor Timely could have been reinserted into 1893 Chicago, that Wisconsin workshop that he was extracted from. Maybe his memory wiped. That is a possibility. And while these variants inside of the TVA have undergone memory wipes, Protocol 42, we don't know if they know how to do that to other people like Victor Timely if they were to reinsert them into the timeline. We just don't have precedence of the TVA ever reinserting an extracted variant to the timeline. Most of the time, they get extracted and their branch timeline got pruned while their doppelganger variant lives on in the sacred timeline. That's what we saw with Mobius looking at himself. Now, Victor Timely could have gotten pruned to the void, but I don't think B-15 and the current staff of the TVA would do that to him. Why? Because he is too useful to the TVA. He's gone through too much with them. And we know from Obi's second edition of the TVA guidebook that he is okay co-crediting it to Victor. Victor is still part of their history and part of their organization. So I think the likeliest answer is Victor Timely works at the TVA now as the co-head of the Repairs and Advancements Department as an engineer who shares a workspace with OB. And there is a clue that points to this. In the overhead shot of OB unboxing the second edition handbooks, notice this workspace. The desk is now clean with only a typewriter in the center and tools on either side neatly laid out. Compare that to the messy, overwhelmed workspace that OB worked behind throughout the season. I think Victor Timely must share this desk and helped OB declutter it. In a way, he is working in the TVA mailroom. He's sorting memos from those pneumatic tubes, he's handling triage, and he's letting OB have a break every now and then. That's why we were able to see OB with Casey up in a chrono monitor bay, because someone else must have been monitoring the desk down below. And I pointed out in yesterday's video that the pages of that new TVA handbook are blank. Maybe that's intentional, maybe not. But it could be that OB and Victor are about to sit down and fill these blank pages with all their shared knowledge, their designs, their blueprints for how they think things should work. So what happened to Victor Timely? I think the most rational explanation is that he is still working in this new wonderful TVA as part of OB's engineering team to make the TVA a better place. And the epilogue maybe just didn't show him because it could just raise too many questions to see a Kang variant continue inside of the TVA. Now, to quickly break down what happened to the other characters, OB, KC, and B-15 obviously still working for this new version of the TVA, maintaining timelines rather than pruning them. Miss Minutes is, of course, rebooted to her original programming, and at any point, she could kill them. X-5, we did not see walking around the TVA, but he did appear on the cover of Mobius's Jet Ski magazine with his actor headshot, so supposedly he's living his dream life on the sacred timeline as actor Brad Wolf. Mobius seemed like he was headed for retirement, but upon witnessing himself as a father of two on the timeline in Cleveland, he seemed to have everything he needed just by watching that. Executive producer Kevin Wright told Screen Rant that Mobius has overcome an obstacle, but where Mobius goes from here is new territory, so it's pretty much open-ended for Mobius. For Sylvie, head writer Eric Martin told Esquire, Sylvie is interesting because of all the stuff with McDonald's and her living that quiet life, it feels very gap year-ish. I'm not quite ready to grow up and do the thing, and she was pulled out of that. Now the work begins. I'm not sure where she goes from here, but I don't think she's going to live just a quiet life. Maybe she would, I don't know. But she's going to make a very active decision about what she's going to do, whatever that is. She's making that choice. It isn't just like, oh, I'm going to feel things out. She's going to go in a direction. Sounds like they just didn't write it. Now for Renslayer, Eric Martin said this, I'll let people muse about what that can mean. She's up in the air. There are things that can happen with her. If you look to the comics, there are some fun inferences that can be drawn from the pyramid. And you know, who knows? Does Elioth kill her or do they strike up a friendship? Maybe Elioth remembers her? I don't know. Hey, at least he gives us the pyramids to look at because those pyramids and that Sphinx behind her were in the void in season one. And I'm pretty sure that Sphinx has the face of Jonathan Majors. When we first met Pharaoh Rama Tut in Fantastic Four number 19 in 1963, he was using the Sphinx as a mobile time machine. I've always believed that he remains needed Renslayer in order to tame Elias. So yeah, she could have a history with this thing. The Disney Plus closed captions describe the audio over Renslayer as quote, metal clanking. That sound could be the sound of a hatch opening or Renslayer could take that Sphinx ship and her new pet Elias and travel through time to do whatever she wants. I just don't think 1868 Victor Timely is the only young Kang variant hidden throughout history. So while we have a good guess as to what happened to one Victor Timely, the full story is still being written. Hey, the best way to support new rock stars is to grab some merch at nerdriot.shop. Follow me on all social platforms at EA Voss and subscribe to all three channels in the New Rockstars Network. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.